Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and it's been a while, I've been working on some stuff and experimenting with some others but I'm back with a quick video tutorial and for this one we'll be uh, seeing how we can create blocky versions of our scenes and objects and for this video tutorial we'll be using this little uh, scene here, this little dinosaur created by Animaniac 888 and let's move over to Blender to see what we'll do. We have the scene here opened and first thing I'll do is uh, select the armature you can see right here and then click the right mouse button and select delete. We won't be using the armature for this one. What I'll also do is right click the plane that uh, is being used as floor and hit the M key and move it to the second layer for the time being. Now we'll be using a Remus modifier for our object here and first thing we have to do before using the Remus modifier is join the mess and applying any modifiers uh, used on the object. So I'm going to right mouse button click to select the clause here, it is a separate object and move over to the modifiers panel and I will delete the armature modifier and let's increase the view for the subdivisions for the subsurf modifier and also apply the uh, subsurf modifier okay now I'm selecting the uh, dinosaur main mess the body and I'll delete the armature modifier for this one as well what I'll do now is hit the A key to deselect all on my keyboard and again select all and I'll hold down the shift key and select the body of the dinosaur and then hit Ctrl J to join the mess. So now I'm having a single mess for the entire dinosaur and if I select the body and hit the G key to grab it you can see that we're having the dinosaur here as a single mess. Now that I've joined my objects I'll move over to the second layer, select the floor and hit the M key to move it back to layer 1. OK. Now this is our scene, I'm going to select the dinosaur and click add modifier and add a remiss modifier. Let's find it, ok. This is what we get by default by using the remiss modifier. I'll uncheck the remove disconnected pieces and I'll increase the oak tree depth from 4, let's bring it up to 6 and what I'll also do is change the mode from sharp to blocks. Let's change the oak tree to 7 and I think we're good at about there and you can see that our dinosaur now is a blocky mesh. What I'll also do is uh, right click this frame here to select the camera and let's move it up. I'll uh, increase the rotation for the X axis, set it from 90 to 91 and I think we're good at about there. Now selecting the dinosaur again and what you, you can do here is apply the Remus modifier and it'd be a good idea to apply the modifier if you want to further modify the cube mesh but I'll keep it as it is for now I'll move over to the materials panel and delete every material on my dinosaur OK I'll click new to add new material and I'll also change the blender render to the cycles render OK now for the cycles dinosaur material I'll click use nodes and we have the diffuse BSDF material I'll change the color let's make it a nice green one and let's also make it slightly darker all right I'll move to the world options and click use nodes for the world as well and I'll bring the ambient occlusion here from 1 let's set it down to 0.3 Okay, now moving over to the render options and down to sampling, let's expand sampling and I'll increase the samples for the render from 10, let's say to 100. What I do now is change the device from CPU to GPU compute because I want to use my graphic card to render the image and hit render. Let's set the view. Okay and you can see the render object 
Now, as you can see, this looks pretty interesting, and the good thing about it is that you can uh, add the Remus modifier to any object, just make sure you have uh, applied any modifiers on your object, and also make sure that you have joined all the meshes of the object into one single mesh before applying the Remus modifier. So this is it, this is a quick little uh, video tutorial for you guys. This is Dimitris Christou, and thanks for watching.